Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 28. So today we're going to move on from opportunities and start our training around the Campaigns applet. So the Campaigns applet is our megaphone icon here. It's the seventh one down. And when we click on Campaigns, today we're going to do a quick walkthrough and then connect the correct platforms in order to run campaigns moving forward. So inside of the campaigns applet, you can see that we have five tabs along the top. The first is our dashboard tab. And then from there, we have the four types of campaigns that can be run through KW Command. Those are paid social ads, email campaigns, direct mail campaigns, and social posts. And you can see those here along the top. Further along the top, you do have your payment screen, and if you are running ads, uh, social ads, you are going to have to put in a credit card for payments for that, because that's actually done through command. Uh, next up, as in all things command, if you want to create a new campaign, you do have the blue button here at the top. Now you can see this is a brand new account, my demo account, and as such, I haven't actually gone through and connected the necessary accounts for me to run social paid ads, or for me to utilize the social post function. In addition, although it says that email is not connected, remember you do have the command mail feature built inside of command where you do receive 5,000 free emails per month. So I'm gonna show you how to connect a MailChimp to command should you choose to use that, but remember that is certainly not required. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna click on connect accounts and you are gonna to wanna to do this if you want to use paid ads or social posts and then you'll have to connect MailChimp if that's your preferred email provider, just remembering that you do have the ability to connect or use Command Mail. So when we click on this Connect Accounts button, we do get a pop-up here, and you can see there are five different potential connections that we can make. Two of them regarding Facebook with regards to Ads Manager. This would be our social account. Post Scheduling, our social ad account, excuse me. Uh, post Scheduling, this would just be to go out on our business page for actual posts. Same thing for Twitter. We've got the ads account and then the post scheduling. And then, like I said at the bottom, if you want to, you can connect MailChimp, not necessarily required. But we'll just go through the process. So connect a new Facebook account. That's basically gonna take us over to the settings menu. You can see, and we're brought into the applications page. And then from here, we're gonna wanna go down and actually connect the accounts that we need to connect. So the first thing we wanna do on Facebook, let's connect that account. It's gonna give us a pop-up that connects to Facebook and I'm already logged into Facebook on a separate page. And so it immediately brought up the three business pages that I have built using Facebook. And so I can choose to connect one, two, or all three of my business pages. And once I've selected the ones that I want to connect, I would just choose the connect box. And essentially you're now gonna see that Facebook post scheduling has been moved to the connected app list underneath applications. I could go through each one of those for Instagram and Twitter for post scheduling as well. If I intend to run ads, I do need to scroll down to the marketing automation section. And this is where we're gonna connect Facebook and Twitter in order to go ahead and use the ad portion of campaigns, which we are gonna go through. So let's go ahead and connect my account on Facebook Ad Manager. And once I do that, it's gonna say, manage the Facebook accounts and pages that you're connected to. And it's gonna show my Facebook page, right? This is actually already connected because I'm logged into Facebook on another window. Um, but once it's brought up, I can then click on done. And essentially then you will see that Facebook ads manager has been added to the connected application list. So if you intend to run ads on Twitter, you'll wanna do the same thing for Twitter as well. Finally, you do have MailChimp down here, so you can see that you do have the ability to connect MailChimp to your command for email-based campaigns. However, remember, you already have command email connected to your command account that's gonna provide you with 5,000 free emails per month. So the only time I'd recommend you're using MailChimp, possibly you already have a paid account and you don't want to make changes. Um, potentially, you're emailing out more than 5,000 people per month. Um, and so you want to use your MailChimp account, but for most individuals, this command email account is going to be quite sufficient. So once we have those connected, when we come back to the dashboard page, if I close this X and do a quick refresh, 
we should see now, right, that we have connected accounts. So you can see on the right hand side here, I've got Facebook lit up because that's the one I connected. If I'd gone through and connected Twitter, this one would also be lit up. And then same thing for MailChimp, this would be lit up. Now on the right hand side, it's going to tell me what accounts do I have connected for paid ads? And here's my Facebook. And what accounts do I have connected for social posts? With social posts, it's actually going to show you the business pages that you have connected inside of Command. So this is a really important first step. Uh, tomorrow we're going to dive into the actual campaigns that you can run. We're going to start with social posts. We'll move on to paid ads. Then we'll get into email and direct mail campaigns as well. So stay tuned for that. But first step, if you have not, go ahead and connect at least one of these accounts, preferably Facebook or Twitter, so that we can run through the process of creating social posts and running social ads. Look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. As always, I hope everyone's doing really well.